It feels like it's been a long time since I last posted a video. In this video, I will explain the steps taken from start to finish to create comics digitally. Digital comics have two formats, Webtoon, which has panels straight down, and Manga, where one page is filled with many panels. My explanation applies to both formats, both Webtoon and Manga, so let's get straight to the point. First step, plan your story. Before drawing, you are required to know what story you are going to create. This applies to making webtoons and manga. Your story plan starts from simple steps, such as determining the premise or logline. The simple formula for a logline is the character experiences conflict, and he must deal with that conflict. Your goal in creating this logline is so that your story stays on the line and doesn't go anywhere. To make it easier to understand, let's take an example from my webtoon. A girl who is able to predict death through her dreams must prevent death from happening in the real world. So, the logline will determine the direction of my webtoon story. If you have created a logline, then you can develop the story to make it more complex. Write plot points developed from the logline you created. Your plot points can be made into A, inciting incident. The beginning of the events of the story that you create before entering the conflict. Usually it starts with an introduction to the characters and setting of your story. B, locking your character begins to face conflict. C, midpoint. The story becomes more serious with the conflict faced by the character. D. Main culmination. The peak conflict of the story you created. Third act twist. Resolving conflicts from the stories you create. I'm just giving a general overview of the plot points that you should develop. Because if we discuss it in more detail, the focus of this video will change. Second step create a script or storyboard. After you have finished creating the story, you can proceed to the steps for creating the script. Scripts in comics can be created by typing in a file whose contents will consist of panel numbers, detailed image on the panel angle on the panel references that can be taken. Meanwhile, the storyboard looks like this. You jump straight to the comic page that you are going to make and doodle a sketch of your story script. Now you know the difference, right? To make comics, to be honest, I prefer to execute them in storyboard format. Third step, create line art. From the script or storyboard that has been created, it will proceed to the line art stage. You will describe your character in detail. Make line art that is neat and appropriate to the specified story genre. This time, I will try to change the webtoon I made into manga format. Because manga are in black and white format, I prefer making the line art thicker than usual when I'm making a webtoon line art. It's just an art style, I guess. Usually in the industry, the person who does the line art and the next stages namely coloring or beta and screen tone for manga, are done by different people. For this reason, make sure the line art you create is clear and does not confuse people who see it. A little story, I started making manga when I was in middle school. There is an anime that inspired me to draw. The title of the anime is Gekan Shujo Nozaki Kun a shoujo romantic comedy anime, which in the story also provides a bit of the process of making a manga. Although, if you want to watch something serious related to making manga, I suggest you just watch the anime Bakuman. Fourth step, add coloring or beta and screen tone. This time, because the format I'm making is manga, I'll just add beta and screen tone. I will beta color the dark parts, such as the character's hair, the color of the skirt, and the shadows that occur. I will use screen tone as support for shadows that are not too dark. For beta, I simply created a new layer that was black. While for screen tone, I chose gray 
and change the layer setting to noise line as you can see in the right corner of the screen. In the parts that are not very detailed, beta, on the character's hair that I created, I only erase a little of the bangs, while on the more detailed panels, I will also add screen tone to the hair. This is my favorite part about drawing manga digitally. If something goes wrong, just undo it. No need to bother buying screen tone and ink not to mention the expensive price. To create complex patterns, just make your own custom brushes. That's why, even now, many manga artists are using digital. By the way, I made the backgrounds for the webtoon and manga using 3D SketchUp. When making a webtoon, I will render it, but if it's a manga, I will make it in black and white format, which can be added with beta and screen tone. Final step, add text balloons and dialogue. Once you feel the image of your comic is complete, the final stage you do is add text and dialogue balloons. Add text according to the script in the previously created script or storyboard. Text balloons also have several meanings. Box for monologue, round for dialogue, polygon for engine sound, flash bubble for the sound in the heart, and etc. Once you are satisfied with the results, you can check the appearance of your manga with 3D binding in Clip Studio. This is the display format for your manga if you want it printed as a book. The place to post your manga is on Manga Plus. There are many new mangaka creators here you just need to export the manga you created earlier to adapt it to the posting format on this website. Additional tips from me. To make it easier to make printed manga, the settings you have to do are like this. If it is read from right to left, then select the bind from right setting. To speed up making, I made my own brush tip for parts that are used repeatedly. For example, eyeballs. Just draw the eyes once in detail and after that, register the material. Looks like that's all for this video. I hope what I say is useful for all of you who are interested in creating your own digital comics. Thank you for watching.